What's good guys, it's Frontalations here with my Funko Pop collection video. So let's get right into it. Uh, I've been collecting these for about a month, as you can see. <laughs> I went pretty ham on the collection, but um, yeah, this is pretty much at a good place right now as far as the collection goes, and I'm really mainly looking forward to like new releases as far as stuff in the back library of um, pop toys. There's not too much I'm still on the hunt for. Um, there is one pop I ordered that hasn't come in yet. Um, kind of getting a little worried about that because it was about a week ago, so I need to check into that. But anyways, let's get right into it, starting with Logan. Now this, as you can see, clearly marked on the box, is supposed to be a bobblehead, however it's not. Um, the first shipments are that way, uh, factory mess up. Now this is the only pop I've ever opened, um, but the cool thing about them is you can just put them right back in the box and everything. Uh, I opened it to check if it was the bobblehead or not. Next up we have Beast. This is the Gemini exclusive um, version. Uh, what's different about this version is it's flopped, so it's fuzzy compared to just the normal like plastic versions that are out, um, you know, as the GR version. Next up, we have the Fugitive Toys Deadpool with the black and red. Very cool. Uh, I believe this was part of like an artist custom series um, for this gray Deadpool. I found it a hot topic. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're priced somewhat high, and I would assume that means that they're fairly rare. Um, there was only one on the shelf, and I went ahead and grabbed it even though the box was kind of messed up. Next up, we have Mike Myers and Jason Voorhees. Uh, now, Jason, I've seen him priced um, a little bit higher than box prices online. But yet, I still see them at plenty of places in my area, so I don't know uh, quite what's up with that. Next up, we have uh, both versions of Jake, Jake that I own. One is the Toy Wars exclusive. It is also flocked, much like the Beast that I showed you earlier. Um, and then we have the 2013 San Diego Comic Con um, Zombie Jake. Now, I didn't get this at Comic Con. However, if you check your local Hot Topic, some did get shipments of them, so it's worth checking out. Next up we have Silver Surfer. Next to him is the Comic Con version of Red Hulk. It's metallic red rather than the flat red. Um, very, very nice. Here we have another Gemini's uh, exclusive. Uh, this is uh, Spider-Man from the Amazing Spider-Man movies. Next to him we have Spider-Man, just the regular one from Marvel Comics. As you can see they're both um, painted quite differently and, and so on. Next we have Yoda, followed by Boba Fett. Darth Maul. Unfortunately, this Darth Maul, um, as you can see, kind of, let's see there. Yeah, some of the paint chipped off onto the um, plastic, so uh, a little bummer there. Next up, Jabba. And then we have a 2013 exclusive version of Boba Fett, followed by Buddy the Elf. Definitely a really cool pop toy right there. Buddy the Elf is awesome. Next up, uh, my DC Comics um, pops. Batman, this one has a cool little um, Statue of Liberty feel to it. This is from Comic Con 2012. Followed by Superman. Uh, Bane is getting harder and harder to find um, nowadays, and the prices are going up online. Two Face, one of the first series releases, and also um, pretty high priced uh, pop right there. Uh, I ordered this um, Batman uh, package, which is great. I actually collect Nintendo products as well, games and so on. So this gets two collections done at once, so pretty awesome. So right there next to the Statue of Liberty uh, Batman, I kind of have this like copper uh, rocketeer, followed by the gold Dumbo. They're all kind of like, I don't know, to me similar um, with the gold, the copper, and like the rusted uh, Statue of Liberty, so I have them all placed together. The gold D Dumbo is probably the rarest um, out of uh, my Funko Pops at a limited release of 48 from this year's Comic Con. Next up, two more from this year's Comic Con, Mike Wazowski, um, I still have been meaning to watch Monsters University, and the Blue Genie, um, this one has like a metallic paint uh, to it, very nice. Here we have all of the Ninja Turtles, um, these are the Comic Con versions, so they all have the metallic paint, I was able to grab them at Comic Con, so I was pretty happy about that. Another Comic Con set right here, this is uh, the Big Bang Theory, um, these guys are and their little Star Trek costumes being halfway beamed up. Um, pretty cool. If you guys watched the show, uh, they went as Star Trek characters to Comic-Con. And so Comic-Con released um, these figures. I thought that was pretty cool. Here we have a um, Thing Metallic uh, from Comic-Con 2011. Stitch, I kind of wasn't too happy with it once I got it. Um, I don't know. I like Stitch the character, but the pop version I wasn't too fond of. So I'll probably be selling this to one of my friends for the same price I paid. And uh, I thought that guy was pretty cool, so I went ahead 
grabbed him as well. Get these guys out of the way so you guys can see my Despicable Me 2 characters. I was actually able to grab um, both of the minions off of Amazon for the same price as they were at Comic Con and free shipping, so that worked out perfectly considering I missed out on them there. And there I have Agnes, just the regular Agnes. Alright, so um, uh, with this first Game of Thrones figure, um, it's actually another factory mess up. As you can see right there, her dragon is um, fully red, whereas the side of the box displays it as a green dragon with red wings. So now all the first shipments are like that, and um, pretty cool little variant to have. Uh, next up we have the Ned Stark from Comic Con with the removable head. As you can probably see, there's like blood underneath and everything. Very cool. Very cool right there. Uh, back there are some Walking Dead figures. Michonne was actually the first figure I got. And then there's a Glenn as well, one of my favorite characters. Both of my favorite characters actually from Walking Dead right there. Uh, here we have a World of Warcraft preview figure. This is the Illidan from Comic Con. This was released at the Blizzard booth. Extremely hard to get. Um, I lined up all four days of Comic Con to try to get it, and I was not able to. I had to turn to eBay to get mine. Um, two of uh, my really liked pops for sure, Hannibal and Freddy. Uh, very cool. Next to that, I have another version of Sheldon. This is from Comic Con 2012 in his Batman shirt. Pretty awesome. Uh, I have a Biggie figure right there. Blood Splatter Rick from this year's Comic Con. And the um, box set with Michonne and her pets. Now I have two more um, pops to show you. They don't come in boxes, and I'll explain why right now. I have my one and only uh, Proto right here. Um, it's of the same figure I had showed you earlier. So the Protos are like the samples unpainted and everything like that, so there's that. And I have one Freddy Funko, which is like the mascot for um, Funko Pop. It's a clear red one with like glitter on the inside. Very awesome. Um, extremely limited as well. And yeah. So that's been my Funko Pop collection, guys. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment box below is the best out of the collection. And maybe even what's your favorite if you're already a Funko fanatic. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya. Peace.